na 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 Stomp, stomp, stomp. Ah! Oh. No, amor, it's boots are as sad as this intro is stupid. I finally bought the dog boots and now all that's left to do is to actually teach my dogs to walk in them. Uh, that should be fun. My training plan for this is actually really quite simple. I plan to put only two boots on the rear paws for dogs and then immediately go outside as, as soon as they have those boots on. And the reason for that is actually quite straightforward. The same thing that I, I advise to do for my clients who get the dog sweaters from me. When you put on your dog's clothes or boots in my case, and go immediately outside in the cold weather, dogs really quickly understand the difference between being cold outside in the snow and being really comfortable with the clothes. And I hope that with the dog boots it will work the same way as in, with the sweaters. And so hopefully the dog boot training won't be too much of a hassle. Okay, so my first thoughts are, as I predicted, my dogs are way more confident with their new boots when they're outside instead of inside. I don't know, maybe it's the hard floors or maybe that they're realizing that the snow is not so cold for them, but like definitely I could see that they're walking way more confidently and without all the weird crazy movements and they were outside instead of inside. So it's definitely a good idea that I'm uh, training them to wear the boots outside and I won't be doing any sorts of uh, training inside, I just put them on and then we immediately go outside, that's a good idea. But uh, what I'm concerned about, I'm not quite sure that those boots actually fit them. And what I'm surprised about is, it seems that Lamora's boots are fitting better than Mio's and I was supposing that it would be the other way around because I was really confident about Mio's size and I weren't so confident about Lamora's size. But right now it seems that like Lamora's foot is fitting in there way better while Mio is on almost like she has to stand on her tiptoes to fit there uh, or the boot just slides off, I don't know. But I'm not making any sort of judgment about uh, the fit issues because I'm not quite sure that I put on them properly because the dogs were squeamish about the new boots. So I'll check more about the fit later when I'm more confident that I'm putting on those boots properly. So second attempt was way more successful. I realized that uh, those boots, they are the proper size. I just weren't pulling them on properly. And so overnight I thought about like, uh, how should I do that? And today I took like more attention to pulling them on properly. But the problem is that the, because of the zipper, it's a bit hard to like really push dogs pow inside because you know when you're pulling on boot you need like um, your your leg to be stiff yes you need your leg to be stiff so you can push it in the boot but like uh, because dogs are really confused about what's going on there they're just holding their paw limply and like what are you doing with that every year there are a few of those days when my dogs really need boots and this year when we had those minus 20 celsius lamora couldn't almost couldn't even walk outside when we when we would go outside just in our yard to do the potty break um he would be standing on just two legs and i felt so sad and i i felt so guilty because he didn't have the dog boots since then i was telling my friends about it and my friends said to me yes vegan that's the same exact thing that you've been saying for three years I mean, they're not wrong. It's just the problem is that, yes, 
I've been thinking about it for years, but uh, like there are only those few days and then you remember about the dog boots only when you actually need them. So this year I decided, okay, I need to take action on this. I need to get the dog boots. But there is the next problem. Like there are so many of those dog boots out there that I had such a terrible case of choice overload, I really couldn't decide on what boots to get. But because this time I had decided that, okay, I need to get them no matter what, I just need to start training and I don't care about how good those boots actually are. Like, I care a little bit, but those are basically just training boots. I just need to teach my dogs to walk in the boots. That's it. That's the goal for this case. And uh, so, this is Lamora's bum. And so I just took the boots that uh, were really easy to get. The, the price was quite nice. And what was important for me is that the package had all four boots. Uh, not all, not always they're sold in like a four boots. Sometimes they're sold just in twos as in a pair. And so I got those Ruka step shoes. They're not really meant to be heavy winter boots. Uh, those are more like, I feel like they're more city boots because they're so small and they don't go so high on the dog's leg. But I also don't think that we'll be having any much more snow this year. Like lately we don't have that much snow in winter, which is really sad. But um, so I think those will be perfect for learning. Let's see. This isn't my best camera look. I hadn't planned to do like all four shoes today, but we talked with my husband and we thought that maybe we would, we would want to go hiking Sunday and then I thought, well, it would be the perfect chance to get to try all four shoes. Like, not, not all four shoes, it would be the perfect chance for my dogs to try the, uh, walking longer distances in the shoes. Right now, I'm not quite sure because for their hind legs, my dogs aren't feeling so comfortable. For Lamora, one shoe came off. Uh, I don't know. I'll I'll have to think about it more. But the good part is that it's getting more comfortable to get the shoes on. I guess I'm just learning how to do it efficiently. And with, I don't know, with some proper more training um, practice, it might get better. I just, um, right now, I'm not sure about this whole thing. winter wonderland and I'm checking if how the boots like hold up if we're wading in the snow and it's not going good like Lamora had already lost one boot and now I'm looking here, here he lost another just right now it seems that the boots are falling off from his hind legs I almost can't see because we are wading like almost knee deep in snow and now I just have to retrace my steps to find Lamora's lost boot I don't want to leave it here. I'm not upset about uh, the boots falling off, let's say it like that. Uh, because the manufacturer said that well, those boots aren't really supposed to be wearing in in uh, like really snowy weather. That it makes sense, they're uh, really, really, really small. But oh my god, I'm just so happy about all this weather. Fingers crossed we get to go hiking tomorrow. Where is my beautiful snowfall? I wanted to take photos of Mio, but uh, but the good part is uh, Mio's boots aren't falling off, so I think that Lamar's boots actually are a bit too large for him, and Mio's boots, which are the correct size, are fine. <laughs> 
So I guess that's my fault about buying the larger size because Lamar was between sizes and so I decided to go with the larger and I should have gone with the smaller. Yay, not yay. If we get to go hiking tomorrow, my verdict is that both dogs can be wearing all four boots. Uh, I have to check on Lamar more often when he's wearing them, but when they're walking outside, they're feeling completely fine with them. And so I don't have to worry about any more training. I just can go out tomorrow and wear them. I'm super amazed it took, what, four days to teach them wear boots? I had supposed it would take like weeks or what, but now my dogs are fine within four days. And I think that's mostly because I'm training them outside and not inside. Inside they don't like the boots so much, but when I get outside, they have no problems with the boots. That's freaking amazing. I ended up carrying those dog boots in my pockets because within the fi first five minutes they started falling off and we realized there's no real use of uh, putting them back on again and again and again and so we just decided okay let's go without any boots this time. So in conclusion I, I must say that uh, those boots really are not suitable for this type of weather when we have a bunch of snow and when, when dogs have to really wade in snow but uh, also that's not a real problem for me because I bought those boots with a mindset that I want to train my dogs to wear boots and not that those are the exact boots that they'll be wearing all the time for all our hiking adventures those are more like city boots or stuff i don't think i'll ever even sell them off or something something i'll just keep them as a reserve or something i'll make a separate review video about those boots but because this video is more about the training i think this is a really good place where to end this chapter about those uh, dog boot training and so thank you for watching this video till the end if you would like to reinforce my video making habit please like this video and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you next week